What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to get through the Team Rocket uh, hideout, defeated everybody, and managed to get the Sylph Scope, so now it is time to get to, what was it, Lavender Town, Pokemon Tower, Ghost Eye Pokemon. Now, we put Tornado back into the PC, and we got ourselves our old buddy. Yes guys, the gang is back together, except for, for the exception of Sir Razor. But yes, guys, I am bringing Hydra along for this ride right here, and I did teach him a few moves. Two good moves, Hyper Beam and Water Pulse. He will actually prove useful when we actually take on some of these Ghost-type Pokemon because, it's, you know, physical attack, bite attack, dark-type moves, that kind of stuff. And don't forget uh, Ultra Psycho as well, you know, just for, the, just for the shits and giggles. And I know, I know, it's taken away experience points from... Uh, my, my original team or my regular team and all that stuff but you know this is part of the plan guys I am planning on uh, just boosting the crap out of my Pokemon uh, when it comes time to battle all these uh, gym leaders right here of course my limit right now is 30 so I should be okay for right now so don't worry guys I got you I got you so we're taking the long path instead of the short path and uh, we are going all the way back all the way back to Lavender Town. We already battled all these guys, and believe it or not, we can still battle these guys again with the VR Seeker. So, or the VS Seeker. So it shouldn't be a problem right here. So here we are, guys. Back into the Pokemon Tower. Here we are. Pokemon Tower. Okay, so... We got a little bit of an issue now. A lot of these Pokemon trainers are Ghost-type trainers. And in Pokemon Generation 1, especially right now... The, po the ghost type Pokemon that you're going to be encountering, they're also poison type Pokemon. So they are very, very vulnerable to psychic type moves. And luckily for us, Ultra so Psycho learned two new moves. So we're going to be putting both Ultra Psycho and Hydra right up front so we can battle every single one of these guys. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's go ahead and battle everybody. I do have Repel, so I don't want to uh, run into ghost type Pokemon just yet. So there we are. And uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, use these repels okay so none of that will actually bother me let's go ahead and take them out all the way out there we go and uh, grab this and we found ourselves another escape rope and let's go ahead oh damn so a lot of these Pokemon trainers are very very much possessed they are very possessed and uh, yeah they will all have ghost type Pokemon this is a new Pokemon that we haven't battled just yet and like I said Generation 1 ghost type Pokemon also have uh, poison type capabilities. So, this is going to be uh, easy pickets for Ultra Psycho right here. As you can see, just like that. I could just use Ultra Psycho and it's learning Reflect right here. So, let's go right ahead and take out. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to be using them as much, but let's use Reflect for uh, whatchamacallit teleport. Alrighty. So, as you can see, easy, easy victory right there. He's like, I got saved. Hmm. The ghost can be identified by by the Sylph Scum. Okay. Um, I'm going to go through here and uh, battle every single one of these guys. And actually, I'm going to try out my new uh, my new Pokemon right here, Hydra. It feels kind of uh, nostalgic to my Pokemon Yellow Walker. Be gone, Malev or Malevolent Spirit. Oh, damn. Malevolent Spirit. I haven't teared out in quite some time. So here we go. Patricia wants to battle us, and she's coming out with her Ghastly. About every single one of these girls has a Ghastly, and it, look at that. Hydra, looking bossy as ever. That's right. And uh, Bite Attack. Should do the trick. That's right. Now, it might get hurt, and it flinched. Okay, so Water Pulse and Crud. Okay, so we got hurt. We got hit. Whatever. Okay, whatever. Here we go. Water Pulse for the win. That's how you do it. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's right. The spirit left her. Okay. Apparently there's a spirit possessing her. The others above. They must have been possessed. Probably. Okay, so here we go with another one. Key, key, key. Qua! Hmm. Okay, so we got a lot of possessed Pokemon trainers right here. And they're all ghastly trainers. So, should be easy for me to beat them, right? Right? Let's see. So I'm intimidating you. Let's go with a Hyper Beam. Crap, it doesn't affect Ghastly. So, yeah, I should have thought that through. I actually wanted to eliminate it real quickly right here. And Crud. So, 
As you can see, Hydra may be strong, but is not as strong just yet. And yes, you have flinched, you asshole, Ghastly. There we go. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. Hydra's, you know, it's it's growing up, and she's asking, what is she doing right here? So as you can see, he's like, sorry, I was possessed. Yes, you were. Okay. Now, there are three different types of Pokemon you can find here. You can find Ghastly, Haunter, and Cubone. And Cubone, of course, happens to be a rare uh, occurrence right here. So just be aware of that if you guys are looking for a Cubone. You will uh, you will indeed find the adult Marowak later on, but that one is uncatchable. So just, yeah, be aware of that right there, too. So let's go right ahead and uh, heal our Pokemon and uh, continue on with this whole shindig right here by grabbing this. Found ourselves an elixir and uh, grabbing this one right here before we battle that trainer. So we got quite a few cool items. Let's go ahead and battle this chick. Be cursed with me. Hmm. I wonder what it would be like to be in a haunted house like this. It, it would be scary. I would I would be scared shitless. And here we have another ghastly. And so Ultra Psycho is going to take care of all of this by Psybeam attacks. Because it's very, very powerful. It's super powerful. Look at that. No, nothing matches it. It's it's pretty hilarious. And uh, here we go with another Ghastly right here. So we're going to take another uh, lick at this right here. Look at that. Here we go. Confusion attack. Yeah, it should be easy. Look at that. Sweep. Sweep by Ultra Psycho. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. And there we go, Laurel has been uh, depossessed right there, and let's see what she has to say. We can't determine the identity of the ghost! Huh. You don't say. Hmm. Okay, so there must be an item right here? No. Okay, so the repel has wore off. Let's go ahead and use another one right here. Again, if you don't want to be bothered by any of these Pokemon right here, guys, make sure to buy repels. I think around this point you can actually get super repels. And, uh, let's see. Battle hurt. Hoo hoo hoo, beat me not! I will not. Or I will, actually. I will. <laughs> so here we go. Another Chandler, and her name is Jody. Coming with her Ghastly. And Ultra Psycho about to sweep this whole thing up. Alright. Psybeam. For the win. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And there goes Ghastly. Nothing. You get nothing right there. And look at that. Ultra Psycho grows a level 24. And, uh... There we go with Chody, and she's like, who, who, what? Oh, God. Hmm. May the departed r Pokemon rest in peace. Okay. Well, that's that's good to hear. Apparently, Pokemon can die. And uh, let's grab this, and we found ourselves a Great Ball. Always nice. And we got one more trainer right here, and she is going to be a Ghost Noqua. I mean, can't they see me, or are they just acting like that because they're being possessed? I, like, actually possessed. I don't know. So here we go, another Ghastly and Ultra Psycho. He's just getting bored, kicking everybody's ass, so here we go. Oh, I burped. Here we go, Confusion. For the win. Yeah. This is easy stuff right here. Oh, yeah. Paula, he's like, where is the ghost? Well, you did have a ghost-type Pokemon, so that's one. I must have been dreaming. Probably would have. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch it up right here. Let's go with Hydra. Have a little fun with that, and uh, see what we can do right here. So as you can see, this room right here contains a special spot where you can actually heal your Pokemon automatically, and uh, that's exactly where I'm gonna be going to once I beat this chick right here. You shall join us. Huh. Okay, so here we have uh, Chandler Ruth coming out with her Ghastly. And, uh, of course, Hydra. Hail Hydra. Okay. Alrighty. So there we go. And let's go with a Bite Attack right here. Now, if you guys aren't using any Dark-type, Psychic-type moves right here, uh, make sure to use specialized moves. Special moves like Fire, Water, Electric-types. Because Normal-type moves will not work against these Ghost-type Pokemon. And as you can see, they can be very tricky with these Confused Rays attacks. And as you can see, BAM! Super effective. Oh, yes. Hydra's kicking some butt right now. It's been a while since I've used Hydra, and man, you are... You are doing us a service. Actually, it's not... It hasn't been a while. I mean, I do have it in Pokemon Platinum. <laughs> uh, and it will be done, guys. It will be done. Trust me. It will be done. How'd you guys like 
the uh, the ending to it. Comment down below. As you can see, coming out with Haunter. All right, a challenge. All right, Haunter, bring it on. Let's go with Bite Attack and uh, crap. Of course, Haunter happens to be faster than my Pokemon. This is bad. Okay, all right, come on. Let's go, Hydra. Don't give up. Hit it. Damn it. Ball sack. Okay, so here we go. And of course, they like to use Curse, which cuts their uh, their HP in half, but puts a curse on us. But this actually makes them a little bit more susceptible to getting uh, or to faint and all that stuff. And here we go. Oh crap! Nearly, I nearly did it. So here we go, getting affected by the curse. There is no actual like way to heal your Pokemon from a curse in battle. The only thing you can do is, you know, just switch them out. And that's how you can get rid of the, the curse. And crap! Ah, oh, crap. Okay, okay. And uh, we're being affected by the curse. Okay, so now this is where I really have to switch out. And uh, you know what? Let's go right ahead and use another one of my other Pokemon. It, it just can't be Ultra Psycho and uh, Hydra's uh, little deal right here. And of course, he curses... Wow. Why would you curse yourself and make your Pokemon faint? Wow. Okay, so that didn't work out as planned. And... Uh, well, that was pretty much it right there. So it's like, gasp. Okay, uh, what do you have to say? I was under possession. Now, if you talk to this lady right here, she's like, come, come, child. I have purified the space. You can rest here. Okay, so we go here, enter the purified and protected zone. Dravid's Pokemon were fully healed, which is good. Very, very good. And we get ourselves a cleanse tack. So that's always good. You know, prevents uh, any kind of, uh, you know, ghost type Pokemon from attacking us, that kind of stuff, you know? And here we go, zombies! Where? Where are the zombies? So here we go, another channeler. Her name's Karina, and she's looking uh, very possessed. And I'm gonna be coming out with Hydra right here. Looking pretty awesome. Very, very awesome. All right. Okay, bite attack. Will it do it? Can it do it? It almost does it. And uh, Nightshade. Man, I remember, I remember playing Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow back in the day before these these versions came out. Nightshade was like, it wasn't really a ghost type move because we all know what it does, but it was like the only thing that can defeat psychic types, I think. I don't know. <laughs> and here we go. Get ourselves a nugget, which is good. And uh, she's like, oh, rough. Okay. Okay, here we go. Another Chandler would like to battle, and her name is Janae. She's coming with a Ghastly, but I'm coming with Hydra. Alrighty, Hydra. Let's do this. Let's get this. Here we go. Water Pulse. Gotta use that sometime, right? Go and, uh, well, throw in some shade right here, some Nightshade. Alrighty. Alrighty. So here we go again. Another Water Pulse for the win. And that's how you do it, guys. That's how you defeat these Pokemon very, very easily. And uh, Janae has been defeated. <laughs> Not so possessed now. And she's like, I fell to evil spirits despite my training in the mountains. How do you... How do you not be... Okay, how does training in the mountains prevent you from being possessed by... Okay, maybe you're talking about like... Uh, what was it called? Over in Hoenn. Those mountains. Uh, Mount... Uh, whatever. Shoot. Comment down below, guys. You know what, what mountain I'm talking about. Jesus criminy. Okay, so we got... More trainers here. I think this is the last part. So we're going to be switching it out right here. And uh, I don't want to battle you first. Yes, we are the last part. And here we got an X accuracy. And uh, let's go ahead and take on every single one of these trainers. Give me blood. Kind of scary. Kind of scary, if you think. So here we go, guys. Chandler Angela. Angelica wants the battle. And she's coming out with her ghastly. Here we go with Ultra Psycho, and uh, we already know what's going to happen right here. It's just going to be, a, you know, Ultra Psycho sweeping the nation right here. Look at that. Easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And uh, there we go with another Ghastly. So let's take care of business right now with another Confusion Attack. Alrighty. Alrighty. And there we go. Ghastly has no chance whatsoever, even though it's a Ghost type. The thought of it being beat by just a psychic type Pokemon, the Pokemon it should have been beaten, you know, it, it's ridiculous. So as you can see, it's learning Recover, and uh, well, I'm just going to teach it right there. 
eventually I'm gonna I'm gonna take away uh, Flash because it really doesn't need it anymore. And uh, about to come out with another Ghastly. So let's go ahead and uh, spread the love around. Let's go with the Leo right here. She has to make her uh, her appearance sooner or later right here. Okay, alrighty, bring it. Shockwave attack. There we go. Let's get it, Dalia. That's my little girl. You see, critical hit. That's right. That's how strong she is. Super strong. You can see, you can see her muscles and all that stuff. That's right. Good girl. Okay, and let's see. I feel anemic and weak. Huh. All right. Maximum effort. What do you got? Key, 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 key. All right. Kind of scaring me a little, but it's okay. Whatever. So here we go. Chandler Jennifer wants to battle, and she again has a you know ghastly. Remember, guys, Generation One, Generation Two hasn't come in yet, just yet. So here we go. Psybeam for the win. Alrighty. Okay. Let's get this. No more ghastly. You have been defeated. Just like that. It's real simple. Uh, I probably just should have stuck with Ultra Psycho, and it, that's what it, w it would have been it. But you know me. You know me. So let's go with the last gen right here. Of course, it doesn't say that. So there we go. Another Chandler, Amelia, and uh, she's coming out with her ghastly. Here we go with Ultra Psycho. Let's get this. Right here, side beam attack. Alrighty. Look at that. And it takes them out just like that. Okay. Easy stuff right there. Look at that. So Emilia has been defeated and she's like, something fell out. I'm glad you're just a woman right here. So what do you have to say? My hair didn't fall out. It was a malevolent spirit. Okay. That's uh, kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, so now I'm going to be switching up my Pokemon right here because there is something waiting for us right here. And uh, now this is the last item right here, which is a rare candy. We might be using that a little bit later for another Pokemon right here. So now once you get to the stairway right here, be gone, intruder. And uh, would you look at that, the evil spirit that has been haunting this place has appeared as a ghost. And we're using the cell scope and it identifies it as a Marowak. This happens to be the Marowak that has been killed by the Team Rocket members and Kibo's mama. Now if you guys haven't watched the uh, Pokemon Adventures cartoon, the um, the one talking about Red and his, its, its adventures, they made a very good depiction of this whole event right here. It's very heartbreaking too because it's, you know, it's, you know, imagine your mom dying just like that and you have to see your mom like that. It's very, 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 it, it pl plugs in my Kajone sticks. So here we go. Water pulse. We're gonna put it out of its misery because we can't we can't capture this Pokemon right here. As you can see, super effective. And that bone ring does not work against me. So let's go ahead and use Hyper Beam. That's right. The most powerful move in this Pokemon's uh, arsenal. Wow. Okay, so all right, we're gonna have to use one more Hyper Beam. I kind of want to use another Hyper Beam. And uh, come on, Hydra, you could do this. Let's get this hyper beam for the win. There we go. Put her out of her misery. And there we go. Marowak faints. Hydra gains some good experience points. And the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother's spirit was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. Alrighty, so that is kind of sad in a way because, you know, Pokemon Adventures. Yeah, the link is right there on my on, on the comment section right there. That way you guys can watch the cartoon and all that stuff. Anywho, the last part of this whole area, we have Team Rocket members, and they are holding Mr. Fuji Star uh, Fuji uh, hostage. So now we are unable to use our other Pokemon right here. You know the main Pokemon. So here we go. What do you got? What do you want? Why are you here? Right here on Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Here we go, Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Zubat right here. And uh, I'm going to come out with my little girl, Aaliyah, with Shockwaves. So Pikachu will be saving lives here, left and right. Oh yes. There we go. You got no chance. Oh crap. And it has Wing Attack. Crud. Okay, so uh, we are we are facing that. So let's... Crud, I don't have a Quick Attack. <laughs> Change that up. And uh, there you go. Zubat 
defeated. Alrighty. And uh, he's coming out with another Zubat, so let's just stay tuned right here with, with this little guy. Alright, Zubat. Alright, Shockwave. Let's get this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. And there we go. Zubat's getting its butt kicked. Left and right, all around. And there you go. Aaliyah grows to level 26, and it's learning Thunderbolt, a very powerful move. So, let's go right ahead and take away Thunder Wave, since it already has Static, and teach it Thunderbolt. A much more powerful move. And uh, bam, finally. Very powerful move. And uh, here he comes out with the Thunder, or Golbat. So, let's go ahead and stay with Aaliyah right here, and let's go with Thunderbolt. For the win. Oh yes, an incredibly powerful move and uh, that Astonish attack, you really think that's going to work? You see, don't really need Thunder, uh, thunder Wave right there. So there we go, one more Thunderbolt for the win. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty. That is how you do it right there, guys. He is kicking some butt right there. Okay. I give up. You do, you really do give up and he's like, I'm not going to forget this. Okay, alrighty. Forget it. Okay, forget it. That's fine. I'll just, I'll just, whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And uh, you know what? Let's go right ahead and use... Okay, okay you know what? From here on, let's go ahead and use our regular Pokemon right here. And uh, this old guy marched up right uh, in our hideout. Then he starts ranting about how Team Rocket's abusing Pokemon. So, we're, we're just talking it over as adults. That's a freaking lie. Okay, so, there we go, Team Rocket member wants battle, and here he comes out with a coughing. I'm going to go with my Godzilla right here, and we're just going to destroy everybody with Godzilla, Godzilla. Oh, yes. And, uh, oh, crud, really? A smoke screen? I'm a little, I'm a little uh, annoyed by that. So, here we go, Ember attack. Will it do it? Can it do it? Yes, it does. Alrighty. Okay, let's get that, and, uh... Alrighty, so we're gonna go up against a Drowsy right here. So let's go ahead and stay with Godzilla and do the same thing. Just Ember attacks and Crud. Smokescreen has done its job and Crud! It's a never ending story of me getting poisoned. It really is. I think poison. I think poison right here is my new paralysis. Alright, here we go. Mount Pyre, that's what I was talking about. Wow, it just, like, it just popped in my head. Mount Pyre, that's what it was called. Jesus, okay. Draven, you, you, you really have some issues right there. Oh my god. Okay, so he is not going down. Let's go ahead and make a... Oh, crud. And uh, there's another headbutt. Not as effective. And uh, come on. You're hurt by your burn. Who will win this one? The War of Attrition. God dang it. And uh, probably have to switch out my Pokemon right here. And you see, now it's got a double whammy right here. Ah, uh, crud baskets. Okay. Okay, so I am not giving up because Godzilla, Godzilla is going to win this. I'm going to heal it up. Take a few hits. Don't worry. Burn is doing its part right there. Getting hurt by poison. And then I'm going to heal again by poison. Or no, heal the poison. I'm going to let the burn do its job. So where is my antidote? Don't tell me I don't have any ant. Oh, crud. I don't have any antidotes? What the... Oh, God. Ah, uh, balls. Okay, so... <laughs> it would seem that Draven forgot about Antidote. So let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Godzilla. There we go. And that is how you do it. Okay. So, completely forgot about Antidotes. Yeah, that's how many times I got poisoned. It's a shit ton of times. God damn. And he's like, Pokemon are only good for making money. Why not use them? You stay out of our business. Okay, well, whatever. All right, so uh, okay, so this is uh, this is bad right here. This is bad. I'm going to have to let's see. I don't want to use any of the berries because I might need them for something else. I don't even know. So I'm just gonna heal them. Whatever. And uh, let's see. Next Pokemon we have to take on. Okay, so I can do this. I can uh, take a few more. Try and risk it right here, because I kind of want to get Godzilla to level 31. And uh, Aaliyah will be facing off against 
these two Zubats that we're going to be facing off against. So let's just do that. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. See what he's got to say. You're not saving anyone, kid. I beg to differ. Alrighty. Here we go. Team Rocket. You are a you are a pest of a crime organization. You will never die. So let's go with Thunderbolts. Just destroy you right here. There we go. And uh Oh yes, Zubat, you getting your ass kicked right now. Aaliyah has become more powerful with just a re with just a Thunderbolt attack right here. So I'm going to risk it. I'm gonna go straight to Godzilla right here. Alrighty, bring it. Alrighty, and of course I'm hurt by poison. So let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with a little Ember. Should should be strong enough, right? Yes, it is. Alrighty. Okay, and then uh, coming out with Eradicate. So this is the biggest risk right here because Eradicate is a strong Pokemon, even though it gets looked under, like looked over. And so here we go, Ember Attack. Good God. Okay, so it's gonna try and weaken me right here. I better make this count. I better make this count with the Mega Punch. So Rud Baskets right here, Mega Punch for the win. That's right. Suck it, Eradicate. Suck it good. Alrighty, so there you go. Level 31, Godzilla. And we got a Zubat waiting for us, so let's go ahead and back to Aaliyah right here. Let's get it. Alrighty. So, here we go with the Zubat, and we're gonna go straight for Thunderbolt. For the win! Alrighty. And that is how you do it. That is how you do it, guys. That's right. Good team effort right there. So we defeated the last one. He's like, don't fight us, Rockets. Well, I kind of did, and I already did it. He's like, you're not getting away with this. Okay, so whatever. So that's pretty much it for everybody here, guys. Yeah, big, big effort. Um, before we do anything else, this is what I was actually planning, just to get me a little closer to evolving my, my Charmeleon into a Charizard. I'm just going to give it both, its, both the rare candies here. I know, I know, but, you know, it saves me a little bit of effort, that way I can pay attention to more of my other Pokemon, so I have just three more levels left, um, so, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to talk to this guy, now, before I do anything else, on the link below is the, the video of the Pokemon Adventures movie, I, ho I hope I'm not getting the name wrong, but it's right there on the description if you guys want to watch those episodes, if you haven't watched, um, Trust me, like trust me, guys. The the episode where they go to the uh, to the Lavender uh, City uh, Pokemon Tower, it's very very sad. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoy that video right there, just like you enjoyed this video right here. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy now. Huh? You came to save me. Thank you, but I came here on my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my ho my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Alrighty, so here we are, guys, back into the uh, Pokemon, what you call it, the Pokemon House, and of course, still getting poisoned right here. So now let's talk to Mr. Fuji right here, Draven. Your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for your Pokemon, your Poke or your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. We get ourselves the Poke Flute, which, yes, it will help us. Trust me, it will help us a lot. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will uh, spring awake. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping or that are sleeping obstacles. All right. Okay. All right. So we did our job right here, guys. It's pretty cool. Awesome stuff. Awesome sauce. Pokemon is uh, fainting real quickly. Okay, so now we got a little bit of a decision to make, guys. Uh, we do have the Poke Flute. We can go up and uh, try and wake the Snorlaxes up, which that is the idea. And we do have a gym battle waiting for us. Now, uh, what I'm going to do right now is I am actually going to take side quests. I'm going to be waking up these uh, Snorlaxes. I'm going to be battling a bunch of trainers, getting a few items that we need. Uh, because there there are quite a few Pokemon that I want to capture and actually want to make them a permanent fixture onto our teams. As you can see in the last few episodes, uh, I've been switching up Pokemon left and right. Like we evolved 
Pig Hammer. We brought back Tornado. Uh, we evolved Hydra and, you know, made him part of our team for just this episode. Including Ultra Psycho. It's grown so much. And, uh, yeah. You know, part of this whole part of this whole adventure right here, this part, is to take on every single other trainer outside of Celadon City, such as, you know, the, uh, the cycling road, the freaking area that I don't like near Fuchsia City. Uh, we're going to try and do all of that within the next few episodes. Try and level up our Pokemon so we can go into the Celadon City Gym and, you know, be comfortable beating uh, Erica. So stay tuned, guys. In our next episode, we're going to be taking a lot of side quests. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.